really is a, is a fascinating question, I think, to turn back to you, because it is true that a lot of people, you know, in my line of work, really do, and, and in, in where Terry is and the other divisions that Sumner runs, there's a, tr forget the, the material benefits, a tremendous psychic satisfaction. You get up and you want to, you know, I'm red-eyeing tonight, all night to get to South Carolina to, to cover the Democratic debate, and I'll be probably tired, but I, you know, I'm looking forward to it. But what do you, how do you engender that in a company where by necessity, you're talking about people whose jobs may not in a, in a at least in one sense, seem the most exciting. Your, your, your uh, enterprise depends on waiters, waitresses, bellhops, maids, parking lot attendants. How do you say to them, this isn't just about a job, this is more than that, and here's why. This panel is about the, that human capital thing in building companies. That's what the four of us are sitting up here for. A guy like you and Ted Koppel, and you live in a wonderful world. You are at the center of enormous, dynamic news and change in the world. But the rest of the people at CNN and CBS, they're at the desk. They're like the rest of us. They're banging away. They don't rush on the red eye to North Carolina. They don't get any of that jazz. They got a job. They got a job, and they, they, they got to find happiness with the job. Now, that's the way most businesses operate. So leadership has to do with finding a way to make a person doing a job that gets monotonous after a while, that animation of those casinos and all that razzmatazz in Las Vegas can get so heavy and on their nerves it drives their kids crazy. You know, it may be fine for two days, three days, but after a while you say, Jesus, enough already with the smoke and the blow. So <laughs> how do we make normal people have a good time and find satisfaction and most of all, self-worth in doing ordinary jobs? I ask that question not so much as a man who's about to deliver a thunderbolt of wisdom and answer that question, but I think that's the question of the ages. The answer to that question is the secret of success in life, in business and in other things, any institution. How to give people gratification, a sense of self-worth, where they go home and say, what a day this was. I feel good about myself. Waiting on tables, serving drinks, listening to the crap at the people lay on you when they're staying up too late, getting the right seat in a showroom or whatever. That's the challenge. And for every one of us that face that challenge, and all of us do, even Sumner, as high up in the food chain as he is, <laughs> has to worry about that. He has to worry about that with all the people he touches. Certainly Les Moonvest and Terry Semmel and I worry about it. And the only thing that I, I can say is that we go back to the most fundamental truth of all. People in life, at work, at home, and at play, they relate to simple ideas. Gratification is, is something that can be defined. It's doing the right thing, making someone else happy, seeing your actions extend into the face, the, the moment, the life of someone else at a table. A waitress is serving food in a, in, a, in a dining room, and all of a sudden she gets into an exchange with customers and they're telling them where they're from, and they feel good because they know that they're just doing the right thing, like Will Brimley said in that Quaker thing, you're doing the right thing, you know? And, and so we're, we're, we're trying to find ways for our employees to have instant gratification, even if their boss isn't there to watch them. And we explore these techniques the most important one is called storytelling. It's a case study at Harvard Business School and at Wharton, at Penn, where I went to school, but we have storytelling. Every two weeks, every supervisor meets with his immediate group of 10 or 15 people and says, tell me good things that happened. And then they begin to tell the stories, and then we publish them on our internet website that we have for our employees and on billboards in every part of the company, we publish the stories of Judy and Sarah, Nick and, and Morales and Garcia and Wong and Ching and all of the other people that work in the place. Some of the stories are so unbelievable that you, know, that you say that